okay so if, uh, if you want to achieve some uh, uh, fps kind of effect like this uh, shooting bullets and moving at the same time like uh, like i'm right now uh, so here's how you can do it it's a quick uh, some codes and uh, kind of tutorial that you can try uh, first of all create a game object uh, called player uh, right now i have a few uh, you can use anyone after that drag the main camera uh, into the player object uh, and you can adjust this camera at whatever angle you want i have adjusted it at some somewhere like here you can adjust it like this uh, it doesn't matter uh, i'm just going to adjust it at the center uh, after that you uh, uh, you have grounds as you can see um, pretty much simple kind of uh, plane cubes some cubes and uh, some coloring okay after that uh, you have to create a, a game object called bullet uh, basically this bullet uh, will be insta instantiated uh, multiple times like uh, like when we fire or when you click on a button uh, attach a sphere collider or box collider or whatever it is I have a sphere that's why it is, it is uh, sphere plane. after that attach a rigid body to it so that it can travel uh, and then drag it into your uh, prefabs as I already have it uh, and then delete it from here uh, after that uh, you have to create a game object called bullet spawner and this will be responsible for shooting uh, when we click on buttons this game object will instantiate multiple uh, bullets at the same time after that go to player object uh, attach a rigid body and a box collider to it and a script uh, here is my script uh, player move script uh, basically this will allow it to move uh, in uh, four directional uh, uh, left right and uh, front and back uh, let's open the script uh, the player move script uh, it is pretty simple uh, first of all you have the speed variable which is basically for the moment of uh, speed not the rotation just the speed uh, after that uh, we are detecting different keys uh, for example if the player uh, presses the up arrow uh, which is basically the uh, mouse up uh, sorry uh, the keyboard up arrow it will translate into forward direction multiplied by time and speed uh, if it is uh, pressing the down arrow so it will move backwards and then and then the left and right uh, we are ro rotating so if, we, if uh, the player presses the uh, left arrow the, this will uh, rotate at about uh, minus 5 degrees uh, so for example if the initial position of the object was 0 and if I press the left uh, le left arrow uh, this will be uh, minus like uh, 0 minus 5 would be minus 5 and then uh, adding minus 5 minus 5 it will rotate to the left side and same as uh, for the right arrow but in this case we have the positive 5 so it will rotate positive direction you can try any kind of angles over here but I'm just the pipe which is uh, pretty smooth uh, let me show you okay so if uh, i'm not going to try the the, uh, the uh, bullet thing right now i'm just going to show you the uh, movement which i tried uh, okay so here's a player game object and the speed is one so let's increase the speed to about 30 uh, as you can see it is moving right left and this is right uh, and this back and forth so this was the movement script uh, after that we have the um, uh, bullet script right uh, let's open that in the bullet script we have the bullet prefab uh, which is basically the sprite or the bullet that you have like uh, in my case uh, I have this bullet prefab which I, sh I showed you earlier it is a sphere uh, it's really simple um, after that you have the speed uh, in the uh, like it is the uh, speed by which it travels uh, like you know, the bullet speed uh, in the initial we have set it to about 1000 after that in the update function if the um, if the player presses on the uh, left arrow of the mouse and he kept he keeps on holding that uh, then we will create a bullet object and uh, instantiate it uh, like this bullet prefab into the same position of the player uh, which is basically like if you can see this 0 0 0 and the player is also like this so it will uh, get this player position and no rotation we will uh, tell it that don't rotate just instantiate it 
and costing it to game object. After that, add uh, force to that rigid body as uh, this bullet prefab has a rigid body, as you can see over here. Uh, it will add force to it in the forward direction and multiply with the speed. And uh, after two seconds, that bullet will be destroyed so that it doesn't, uh, so that for the speed optimization, it doesn't, uh, you know, kind of uh, create a bulk of bullets. So we will destroy it after two seconds. You can change this to whatever you want. So here is how, and then after that, you uh, drag that bullet script to bullet spawner and let's see how it works. Uh, as you can see, I can shoot and I can move left, right, rotate, so it, and then I can move in the forward direction. As you can see, it is moving really slowly. So if you want to increase that, come here to the, uh, as you can see there, speed variable in the uh, play move script and it's been as you can see it is moving uh, in a very smooth speed if you increase it more and then we have this uh, bullet as you can see it is shooting in all direction uh, let me show you in this screen uh, you can so this is basically a small script which you can uh, try in your game after that, you can change this uh, camera position to uh, whatever you want. Like, for example, let's say I want to show the cube uh, while it is shooting. So, let's rotate it. Let me just... Yeah, okay, so here's how you can do it. Uh, you can adjust this camera to whatever your requirements are. Uh, but this is basically a small script which you can try in your game. I uh, hope this helps you. And if you have any problems, uh, please let me know and I will provide the code in the description. Thank you.